Well, Kyron, you're primed for a big Saturday night. Main event, fighting for a world title in Newcastle. How good does it get? No, it doesn't get much better. I've dreamt this as a kid and it's just here now and I'm happy to be a part of it and happy to headline my hometown of Newcastle. Yeah, very good. There's been a bit of talk coming up in this, bit of publicity as well. You're looking forward to a good home ground advantage? Uh, Newcastle boy with Newcastle behind me fighting in Newcastle for a world title. It doesn't get much better. Go Newcastle, as they say. Uh, what are you looking forward to about the night? Uh, I get to share the night with my twin brother. He's fighting for a New South Wales amateur title. And just, I dreamed of this since, since I was a kid and it's finally coming to reality. And I get to win a world title in Newcastle at home. Very good. And you're undefeated so far in your career. Uh, how, how's that come about and how long have you been uh, participating in boxing for? Uh, I've been doing it since I was a kid. Um, Dad's trained me since I could walk. I just... I train hard, I believe, and I just work harder than everyone, I think. I just put it all together on a fight night, and Dad comes up with the plans, and I just I execute. Yeah, well, boxing's, as you said, part of the, part of the family, your brother, your dad. Uh, how, how was it growing up? How was the backyard sparring? No, I mean, Dark, we never sparred with our best friends, me and my brother. Um, but, obviously, I was in the gym young. I was always sparring other kids, and I just enjoyed it. I just, I don't know, I just love to fight. I can't find a better thing to do. I just love to fight. <laughs> Well, Rob, Rob reckons your entrance music is boys to men, but I, I highly doubt that. Uh, what are you going to come out to on, on the Saturday night, mate? Oh, I haven't decided yet. I think I've got um, Newcastle rapper Relevant and John Tupo, and I think he's rapping me out live, so it should be good entertainment for the fight. Yeah, very good. Is it a song you worked on with? Is it freestyle? What's happening there? No, nah, no, nah, he, he does his own thing in the studio. He, he'll come up with it. I just choose him and he puts them together. <laughs> Yeah, very good. And uh, getting back to uh, preparing for the fight, what leads into it? I mean, diet, obviously training. What are you doing right now? Uh, at the moment, I'm just freshening up, coming down in weight and um, just getting a sweat in the gym, really. We've had a torturous ch um, camp, been in Thailand for 10 days. I've been up there with Richard, I've been up with my brother, dad, Jeff Fennick, Rob, all One World Stable mates. Trained hard and, um, yeah, been to Sydney and back multiple times, weekly uh, sparring. It just all comes down to now. I've done the road work. I've done everything. I'm just I'm ready to go. Yeah, very good. You're very excited then and good luck for the weekend and let's hope you come away a world champion. I will and thank you. Very good. Anything you'd like to say to your opponent before we go? Uh, make sure you bring a pillow because um, I'm planning on putting him to sleep. Very good. Well, there you heard it. I wonder if it's going to be duck feathers or just the plain old... Uh, a pillow that <laughs> that normal people use. His choice. Very good. Thanks very much, Kyron, and all the best for the weekend. Thank you.